A catalogue, colourful and attractive, informative and to the point. Good layout, well printed. Modern communications in action. We take it all for granted. But have you ever thought what goes into producing a catalogue like this? A catalogue on some new product such as, well, tractors for example. A new product is being put through its final trials. Years of work, research and testing have been put into it. Then at last, the designers and engineers make the final decision. This is it. Their job is done, but marketing these new tractors is just about to begin. We walked past the 20-acre assembly plant of the Basildon factory, specially built to produce these new tractors. And here is the new range, our first glimpse of them four completely new models. Harry, you're more familiar with the new tractors at the moment. Can you tell us the basic facts? Certainly. The smallest tractor in the range is the Dexter 2000, 37 brake horsepower diesel engine, developing 32 horsepower at the PTO. The next in the range is a Super Dexter 3000, 46 bhp, 40 PTO horsepower. The Major's three-cylinder diesel engine gives 55 bhp and 48 PTO horsepower. Largest in the range is the Super Major 5000, four-cylinder diesel engine, 65 brake horsepower, 56 PTO horsepower. Brand new styling that's going to set the trend. It certainly will. That's a point worth noting, George. Let's get on with these photographs now. One of each and then one of the four together. Photographs of the new tractors. Let's think about a rough layout. You know the sort of thing we want. The Ford Super Dextra 3000 plough. Go through the FR range of ploughs, starting with the big FR single furrow reversible. Show it doing a good job of work. While you're on ploughing, get me one of the five furrow semi-mounted plough on the Super Major 5000. And um, I'd like some more action ploughing shots with the Super Major, deep digging on some really heavy land. We need some pictures of general haulage work with big loads on undulating land too. Here we are, the engine of the Dexter 2000. Three cylinders, Britain's first short stroke big bore tractor engine. Direct injection. There's no doubt it makes for easy starting and low fuel consumption. I've got a note too about low center of gravity. That means added safety, particularly on hillsides. Let's get up. You can certainly swing easily onto this machine. That's a useful phrase, I must remember it. Six-speed transmission with all controls readily to hand. And wide, no-gap speed range. Fully live, single-lever operated hydraulics. Safety starter, that's on all models. You can't switch on unless you're in neutral. Now what did I want to check on the Super Dexter? More powerful engine, 46 bhp. Dual range gearbox, also standard on the major and super major, giving eight forward and two reverse speeds. Reverse is right opposite second and sixth. Good, that's just where you want it. Just press the differential lock pedal to engage. Diff lock is standard on the three, four and five thousand tractors. Disengage by depressing the clutch. Another feature common throughout the range, the battery tray swings out to make service and maintenance easier than ever. Now for the Major 4000.
Disc brakes. Yes, disc brakes seal to keep out dust and water. Fully live hydraulics with constant drive pumps are fitted to the whole range. Whenever the engine is running, you have power available instantly. Fully independent PTO. Power here for the toughest jobs. 48 horsepower. And it's so easy to hitch and unhitch with a quick detachable guard. Here comes the Super Major. Looks a big, really powerful tractor. The new Super Major is built to do the toughest jobs on the farm. Engine, brand new, Ford designed. Selecto speed gives you 10 forward and two reverse speeds with no stopping and no clutching. There's an inching pedal for use whenever you want to gently ease the tractor backwards or forwards. You have perfect control over the slightest movement. It's especially helpful when hitching up to an implement. With Selecto speed, you can change on the go, suiting speed to ground conditions. When an uphill gradient increases the load, change to a lower gear, simply and easily, by moving the selector lever. There's no temptation to let the engine labor. The independent power takeoff with selecto speed means you can disengage the PTO on the headland without declutching or stopping. Engine braking is effective on all gears. You can change on the move under load to any lower gear for maximum down. No matter what the gradient, just put the selector in the park position and the rear wheels are locked for perfect safety. Selecto speed is available on the Ford Super Dexter 3000, Major 4000 and Super Major 5000. Selecto speed is Britain's first true change-as-you-go tractor transmission. Two reverse and ten forward speeds. That came out all right, Joe. Let's illustrate some of the advantages of selector speed on the Major 4000. Show how it can speed up work, particularly with a front-end loader. Straight into work, raise the hydraulics with a single movement of the quadrant lever, and move the selector lever straight into reverse. The manure spreader will give me another example, if I need it, of the use of independent power takeoff. When you approach the headland, you can disengage without declutching or stopping. Must remember, independent PTO is standard with the dual range eight speed transmission on the Major 4000 and Super Major 5000. Reg is at the studio getting the last photographs. There's not much to be done now, only a few more shots. Yes, there's no doubt about it. All these new Ford tractors have clean, functional styling. Trend setting is just the word for it. A catalogue presenting four trend setting all new Ford tractors. The 37 brake horsepower Dexter. The 46 brake horsepower Super Dexter. The 55 brake horsepower Major. And the 65 brake horsepower Super Major. Four power plan tractors heralding a new era in farming. Ford Sure Farming.